Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. This is Ben, the music director here. Uh, I have your verse for the day, and I'm very excited to give you the verse for the day. Uh, it's Matthew 16, 21 through 23. Jesus foretells his death and resurrection. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are a hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man." The first thing that stands out to me with this is Peter's, once again, Peter's passion. Peter, uh, throughout the New Testament, is constantly showing just how zealous and passionate he is. And um, this is something that God, uh, Jesus, used. He fanned that flame of his passion uh, once the Holy Spirit, especially, came into his life in, in the book of Acts. And um, that I just, I love that, that Peter... Um, even though he had all these faults and is the one exposed for the most quote-unquote mistakes in the Bible, um, is also the one that God built his church on, which is awesome. And the second thing is, get behind me, Satan, you are a hindrance to me. Obviously, Jesus is not calling Peter Satan. He's just letting Peter know that Satan is trying to influence you and your words to be a hindrance to my work. And so um, I just imagine myself hearing that uh, from my Savior and just how broken I would be over that. And um, I know that Peter went on to... Uh, to do God's will and God's work in a very, very powerful way. And so the thing that I take from it is, can I accept Jesus' rebuke? Can I accept him saying, um, this is not my will, and, and go with the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit is, is saying to me that is against my flesh? And um, also, can I, because Jesus isn't walking with me and audibly talking to me, can I hear that still small voice and listen when he wants to rebuke me? And so I think it's, it's a challenge for us to um, give ourselves over to that and say, I will submit to your will, Lord, and even your rebuke. And um, I think once we are able to get into that place, then... Uh, blessings will flow and uh, the Holy Spirit can be in us stronger um, to do God's work. And so I hope you guys are encouraged to know that um, God wants to speak to you loving things and um, things of peace and joy, but he also wants to let you know when things are out of line. And I just pray that you guys will be open to hearing from his rebuke as well, because it will turn into a, a flow of blessings for your life. Thank you so much for uh, listening to the word of the day, and I hope you have a great day.